My name is Damodaran and I am the chairperson of Excellence Enablers. This conversation is part of a series of conversations. It is a new initiative of Excellence Enablers to bring to you persons who've been there, done that, who have acquitted themselves very creditably, even by the high standards, added value in whatever they have chosen to do and which they are continuing to do, and to share with you some of the insights that are not in the public domain. These are persons who don't talk about themselves. These are persons whose work talks on their behalf. You don't see them as often as you would like to in the front pages of newspapers, because that space is meant for people who have yet to walk. That's the kind of persons that we are bringing to you in this conversation. And our intention is to ensure that there are takeaways for all of us from the way they go about doing what they do, the values that they bring to what they do, the results that they achieve with fairness and transparency as their guard rails. So to this conversation, I have great pleasure in welcoming a person who is the MD and CEO of the mothership, if I can call it that, of a large diversified group, referred to as a federation. It's, it's a very rare usage as a federation, uh, which has shared values, shared concerns, shared goals, and yet to have the constituent units functioning autonomously and the person at the head of the mothership obviously has to drive the right synergies to expand the maximum value. Great pleasure in welcoming to this conversation, Dr. Anish Shah, MD and CEO of Mahindra and Mahindra. Let me start Anish with the question that might shed some light on what many people don't know. In fact, I stumbled on it myself. We all identify with the institutes of higher education that we went to. Uh, and uh, many people say that I'm a product of this institute, that institute. Who in more senses than one are a product of IIM, I'm the bar. Both your parents went there. Was there any parental pressure guiding you in that direction? So Mr. Damodaran, first, it's a pleasure to be in conversation with you today. Um, and with regard to your question, uh, yes, my father was in the first batch at IIM Ahmedabad. My mother was in the second batch. There was absolutely no pressure from them. Um, I had visited the campus when my cousin and her fiancé were at the campus in 1985. And uh, I fell in love with the place. And since then, it was my goal that uh, I should go to IIM Ahmedabad. And uh, seven years later, or rather five years later, I got admission there and graduated seven years later. You fell in love with the buildings and it must have hurt you when you heard a few years ago that on grounds of safety, they wanted to pull down some of those historic buildings. Even those of us who have not studied them, but have made occasional visits in some context or the other, I have fallen in love with the building. Because uh, I'm not an architect, I don't pretend to understand, but the feeling of space that you get uh, in that area, if you take it and put it anywhere else and you'll discover that that space, which I think promotes uh, the right climate for learning, you don't see that. That's exactly uh, right. There, there's a charm. Uh, there is and, a charm. And that charm, I'm glad they've decided to maintain that charm. <laughs> okay. Uh, 